Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you more MC Eternal and today we're going to be starting mystical agriculture so that we can start growing our own crops of resources. Also be sure to hit like and subscribe for more content and if you're ready then let's play with D-Day. My cat wants to play with me so bad it's not even funny. He's laying so close to me and he's pawing my arm when I move the mouse. <laughs> So yeah, we got uh, power from the water mills uh, and the cloche is up and running. Uh, the creosote is moving. It's awesome. I'm really happy about that. Uh, the one thing that I want, let's go. We need to pull all of our inferium that we have collected so far. That's that. And let's make something we need to make one infusion crystal. Let's see. We also have all of our prosperity shards in here as well. Okay. So one infusion crystal. And then let's see, we're going to need inferium seeds. So we'll see how far up we can go. We'll need inferium seed tier one. All right, it looks like we, oh, I do actually have seeds in here. That worked out well. So that's an Inferium seed tier one. And to make the tier two, we need to surround it with Prudentium. And to make Prudentium, we need to do this. All right, so let's grab 64 Prudentium. That's a quest complete. So we need to surround this guy in Prudentium. That makes a tier two. Awesome, let's convert the rest as well. Bam. There we go. Bam. Bam, nice. Okay. And I'm assuming the tier three is going to need intermedium. Okay. So we need to do the same thing. See, it really does not go very far now, does it? That's it for that. We can make a tier three. All right. Wow. And six. So we can't make the eight to go up to tier four. So I would say I'm gonna cut my losses on that and go with Inferium Seeds tier three for right now. So let's go, we need to pull one piece of dirt out. Uh, what I ended up doing is I did connector to a uh, relay so that it can split because connector can only go to connector. So relay can do multiples. So we have the first three cloches hooked up. I'm, I ran out of gold, so I can't make any more electrum, which is required to make the MV cables. So uh, I tried a couple of ways to make uh, water for the garden cloche. I thought if I could do a pump and pipes from immersive engineering, from the sink it would work but it didn't end up working so i went with what i knew from uh sky factory and i made these guys a fluid extraction cable and then fluid cable uh from a sink from cooking with blockheads and that went in no problem so that's how i'm doing water for right now uh let's go ahead and put this here we can get this started so tier three Inferium seeds are going to start being uh, created inside this cloche and it'll be stored here. So what I was looking at was making a crafter. So let's look at this. I wonder if you guys can hear my cat meowing. He loves to strut around the apartment and just meow. He probably thinks that I'm talking to him when I'm streaming. One, two. 
And we need two of these guys. Sticks, really? Treated sticks, wood. Uh, no, not that one. Let's get rid of the acacia. And crafter. Let's go with two of these. And then crafter, tier one. And it should be, yeah, it should be as easy as just continuously upgrading. So yeah, we'll go straight to a crafter tier, tier three. Crafter, crafting. I wonder, can I convert these back? Crafting station, crafting station. Huh. All right. So a plank. Plank, if I could spell. All right, planks. So I need four. And then redstone torch, I need four. And then crafter, tier two. Oh, can I put it right back in? And tier three, perfect. Oh, I still had some down here. 15, 29, 7. Never mind. False alarm. I need 8. Uh, you are. Wow. You have already made 27 Inferium back. That's nice. So we're going to set the crafter right here. You're going to eat this guy up. This is going to go in here. We're going to do this. Yeah, there we go, apply. And then let's see, remember the current items. Let's switch this around. Remember, so when I pull it out, yeah. And then forget, remember the current items. Redstone mode ignored, speed slow, fast, doesn't matter. Result of crafting operation will go to output buffer. Press apply after changing. So it'll go here. Result of crafting operation will stay in input buffer. Yeah. We'll keep it in here. So this guy should start crafting. Oh, but it, of course it needs power. So let's go. We can put you on top there. And I have one wire left. And there we go. You're getting power. And you're supposed to stay in here. Or does it change the item every time? Remember the current items. All items and input slots are consumed. Ah, there we go. I didn't hit apply. I wonder if the durability... changes... the slots. The second one is going to be apply. Remember the current all input buffer apply. The four, the third one is going to be this. Input, apply. Remember, so remember all of them? Yes. Surprised it moves the infusion crystal. I hope it has nothing to do with the durability being a different item each time. 
That is going to be a problem, guys. I didn't have this problem in Enigmatica because uh, to unlock Mystical Agriculture, you had to make the Master Infusion Crystal. The Master Infusion has unlimited uses, so no durability on it. And I need four of these. Hmm. Also, it's not making more of the Superium. Why did you only make one? Curious. Because it's set to fast now. You should make these. Or is it because the durability is gone? It's no longer this item. Is it because of the durability? Oh, that that's rough, guys. It's registering it as a different item. So it can't remember the craft because it remembers the craft with an infusion crystal that had more durability. Huh, let's see. We do have eight already of this though. So it's pretty funny how fast this is going. I haven't edited anything out yet. So let's go to the next one. All right. And all apply. Two, it's already making two. I wonder if I could break this thing. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's a dance party now, guys. Oh, that is rough. Is this broken? Am I cheating? It is time in a bottle. Okay. All right, that is working swimmingly. That's four. Oop, I should have pulled one of the other ones as well, huh? Mystical Agriculture? Yeah, I'm missing Superium. All right, so let's go. Let's make another one of these. Oops. Let's pull this. Pull three of these, and then we'll just reverse one of them. There we go. Infusion crystal. And then master infusion crystal. All right, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be, guys. All right, so let's go forget. Can I forget all of them? And take these out. Oh, there we go, Superium Essence. So we'll go this guy. We'll go Master Crystal, Inferium. Results of crafting operation will stay in input buffer. Remember, apply the intermedium. Uh, 
about this? And then remember, remember the current bug. This, 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 and this. Apply. And remember. Okay. So premium. Remember. Why does it temporarily change it backwards? And apply. I guess it gave me the infusion crystal back when I made the master infusion crystal. I wonder if I could have used the one that was busted. Let's reverse this guy real quick. Drop you in. Okay. It's a premium. Working, working, working. This guy. Remember. Apply. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit and then uh, we'll come back uh, with what, what I have planned and let's see if we can make it uh, tonight before we call it a stream. Uh, this is the, the last episode of Minecraft Monday. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping that I can reach my goal for the night before we call it a stream. Let's go. What's a tier one seed? <clears throat> a tier one seed that I want. Dirt, nature, I guess nature seeds, but nature, I don't have pump pumpkins. We can make a water seed, tier one crafting seed. Tier one. Let's make a water seed. Tier one crafting seed. Base crafting seed. Tier one crafting seed and a water seed. So we'll get four water buckets. Bucket, we got one. Iron. Ah, I shift clicked. Tisk tisk. I shift clicked the three that I put in, but AE2 took took buckets out. Uh, took all of the iron. That's unfortunate. All right, but we can make our tier one seed. Um, tier one water seed. All right, let's go ahead and make iron seeds. Maybe I'll be more enthusiastic for iron seeds than water seeds. So base crafting. Let's grab one of these guys. Okay. We'll make a tier one crafting seed. Make a tier two crafting seed. three crafting seed. All right, and three intermedium. 
and four iron. I do have iron nuggets, so that came through for me. All right, iron seeds. All right, so I took a little bit of a break. The cloche was not making supremium as fast as I was hoping. So let's see, I took an eight hour break I went to bed and now I'm up and running again. So let's see how much it has done in eight hours. That's pretty decent. Supremium essence. We have a good amount now. Now I'll be able to uh, do what I was planning on doing earlier. Oh, and if you noticed, yeah, the base changed within the episode because uh, I was doing a little bit of extra work in between. Uh, waiting for the mystical agriculture and when I quit and went to bed so I moved all of the crops uh, outside I made these wider because of symmetry uh, I made this guy the pump the fluid tank last time the pump does work it is pumping in here it just doesn't show you how much is in there but it the bar is filling up then I also did a pipe under that comes under and up into an assembler. The assembler needed power, so I ran cable from up top along the sides so that this machine has power. But the creosote now, this machine's awesome. It's smart. It registers the creosote from the fluid tank. And let me show you. I can take uh, oak wood, which I have 15,000 now. The machine finally broke down. Uh, 15,000 wood. So let's do this. We can shift click these off. All right. And I've already saved the recipe for planks and creosote oil. So now when I dump this in here, it takes the creosote oil and auto crafts treated wood for me. So I don't have to do it in the grid anymore. I just need to come over here to this machine. Uh, which later can have an ME interface if I need treated wood on auto uh, Autocraft. I highly doubt it, but I could if I wanted to. Uh, and I, you can you can do auto crafting with the assembler, but the biggest thing is creosote and uh, treated wood. That's no longer annoying to make. Um, yeah, so I moved the crops outside. Oh, and I got Melissa's doors to work. Uh, I'll, I'll sh it's, it's as simple and kind of embarrassing as setting the sound for the door is the reason why the door wasn't being made. So I set the door to silent and uh, add the effect to vanishing. The top block is glass, the frame is bricks, and the bottom block is bricks. I'm not sure how I feel about it. We still have the... Uh, the uh, iron seeds from uh, when we tried to uh, yeah of course I do that from <laughs> from when we tried to do the uh, what's it called agricraft crop breeding and occasionally I get an extra seed uh, the sprinkler I made off camera I couldn't get it to work I read on the internet you have to have an aqueous accumulator under it so I place that one with water blocks under and behind it so that this guy makes water. Uh, but yeah, I cleared everything out here because I want it to look nice. I moved the hempcrete out here for right now. Uh, I'm not really sure how much more of this I need. But yeah, that's, that's the status. Let's finish up uh, what I was working on. Oh yeah, and I forgot. I put uh, the rest of the water wheels up and wired them together. So now we are making passively, I believe, uh, 10, 
1048 RF a tick passively. But uh, you know me, I did this mainly for aesthetic reasons. <laughs> But yeah, let's let's do what I said I was gonna do. Also, we got time in a bottle. We have eight hours now, so let's speed this boy up. This is hilarious to me. I put the the other tier one Inferium that we tested in the other cloche, so I've got this guy going as well. And then one of the seeds I put in here because I wanted to see how much how many seeds we could make in those eight hours. So let's let's grab them. Yeah, we made a lot. Wow, okay. So this goes like this. We can put all of these guys in, right? Yeah, and then we can shift click these. So yeah, iron's no longer a problem. We're good on iron. <laughs> and still making more. Let's grab all the Inferium as well. Wow. Just eight hours. All right. And let's see, let me not put it in my dank null. It'll be easier just to do this. No, I wanna put it in here, right? So I'll hover and like this. Does it work like this? There we go. That all of it? And two left, okay. Okay, so we did even better. So this is our Supremium Essence, got it. Wow. Let's pull the Supremium Essence and let's do Inferium. Um, Inferium tier five, let's also go Recipe here for Insanium, Input, Apply, and Remember, okay, wow. Wow, okay, so we made 34 Insanium Essence. That is awesome. And what's great is we can go forward and backward now for free since uh, we have the Master Infusion Crystal. So let's do the final upgrade, make this guy tier six. There's no quests for that, but tier six will make us, I am an idiot. <laughs> It won't go back in. I'm an idiot. Learn from me, learn from my mistakes. All right, so I'll probably have to plant this guy separately, make a field. I really did not think that there is a difference between the five and the six. So here we go, we gotta plant it. Bummer. But yeah, we should have enough uh, Insanium Essence to, what's it called? Do what I wanted to do. So we'll move the tier ones in this one for now, and then I'll upgrade that one back up to tier five. So I was excited to do Supremium ingots. So to do some premium ingots, we're going to need what? Let's see. I want to put them on my tools. So we need the sword, which is two. And did I, oh, I never made the pickaxe. Tisk tisk. Let's move this guy. And let's grab a gold ore. I went mining for a really short second. Found gold in the ravine. Um, we need pick and there, and we'll let you go. 
Oh, can I find it out from the material cost three? Okay, so we need five in total. Let's go. Base essence. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Hmm. Huh. How should I do this? Like this. I need one, two, three, four per, right? So I need 20. All right, I need 20. All right, 20. And just a couple more. There we go. There we go, that's five. And five. Five. Five and five, perfect. Whoop, there we go. And now let's melt you down. We have our gold cast. Boom. And let's tick accelerate this guy. Boom, you're done. Molten Supremium. We need you here, and we need you here. We got the pick. We got the blade. Let's upgrade our pick to Supremium for Prosperous. And let's see, it goes from Mining speed, 3.5. Durability, 679. To mining speed, 17, 19. <laughs> and durability, 4,369. Boom. And the sword, upgrade the blade. We're gonna go from 13.8 attack damage to not that much, not that big of a difference. 13 to 15. It is still an increase, and the durability does go up from 1,000 to 3,000. So I was hoping the damage was going to be crazier than that, but I'm pretty sure most of the damage comes from quartz on the modifiers, which uh, that's something we're going to do next time. So let's test out the pick and call it a day. Oh, also I moved the uh, blocks of coal coke in here with blocks of iron from the essences to make steel. So you just got to pull out the slag. I'm thinking about raising this guy up one like I did with the coal coke and having a hopper feed into a crate as well so that it doesn't get stuck on slag every time making steel. But again, steel is going to be kind of uh, redundant next episode. So let's test this out. Now when we mine, it should be super fast and it should also make us prosperity shards. So before I do something silly, we have 51 prosperity shards and let's go down to bedrock so I don't mine the ground out from under me. This is Y level 10. Oh, 
Let's go this way. What am I hit by? Am I being attacked by something? What is that? Is it sh it's shooting me through? Through the walls. Are you? Ugh, one of these dudes. Well, we're testing the sword now. I couldn't see what it was. I'll have to check my test footage. We got a frog. I don't know what mob that was, but it was zapping me through the walls, giving me blindness, mining fatigue, and all that awesome, awesome debuffs. Well, I found another area I can branch mine. That's nice. And what number did I say? 51? 51. Does it not work when you vein mine? Is that... I know it says sometimes gives me prosperity. It's mining a lot faster, it's smooth. Fifty one prosperous. There's prosperity ore, but that doesn't teach that doesn't show what I'm displaying. Looks like we've moved on into the vampire fortress, so now there's going to be blood instead of water. I know in Enigmatica I did this. I put Prosperous on my tool and it made me the prosperity shards I need. not making me prosperity shards. I wonder if it's turned off. There we go. So very occasionally drops uh, the shards. Durability and mining speed is where it's at, though. Does that bat... Is that bat wearing a hat? Ooh. Hitting a bat, though. There we go. Hat pants. The bat was wearing hat pants. We'll leave on that. <laughs>
Thank you so much for joining me today. If you can hit the like button in the bottom right and go ahead and click on my guy here to subscribe to the channel, that would help us out a lot. Also, if you want to watch me stream on Twitch, I stream Monday through Friday uh, from 4 to 5 p.m. Central. So I'll see you then.